Today's patio chat is being brought to you locally by West Street Furniture in Delphus. See it all at your finer outdoor furniture store. Welcome back, everyone. Helen Douglas back with us from Family Promise. We're talking a little bit about the new digs out there. Our uh, meteorologist, Connor, went out and got some great shots yesterday. I hadn't seen it yet. You guys are at the West Side Church, but one of the things that struck me was the room you have now, right? Is that the big difference? Oh, my gosh, it yeah. is the big difference. If you were at our other place, it, w it was rather small. Yeah. And now we've got room for kids to be kids, to go outside and play. There's a big gym. It's it's perfect. Yeah, that gym and also the <laughs> kitchen. That yes. really stood out, Isn't right? Isn't it beautiful? Oh, my gosh. Are the kids the kids have to be loving the gym, I would think, right? Oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and the parents, too, because yeah. they can get some work done on the computer while the right. kids are out there playing. Yeah, you bring up a very good point because a lot of the parents there, they're still trying to get a step up, so they're looking for jobs and they're doing that kind of thing. Yeah. So you have to have a combination of both worlds where the kids can occupy themselves and the parents can get to work, right? Yes, exactly. We have expectations from them, you know, while they're sure. there. Um, one thing about us, we, uh, we're we not going to work harder than the clients. We'll give you resources, yeah. but you got to have skin in the game. Yeah, and they do. They tend they to do, do that, though. They, they do. They want to get yep. back up on their feet. Yeah. Right now we have four families in there and nine children. Wow. How many can you hold up there? Um, we can hold up to six families. Okay. And they each have their own room now, so yeah. that makes a big difference when they have a door that they can actually shut yeah. and be a family. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing, because a lot of times families get into these situations, whether it be temporary homelessness, but they're separated, and that's the issue, and that's one yeah. of the main goals is to keep everyone together, right? Yep, exactly. We yeah. keep the family unit together, and we also... Um, take in the single fathers because there's no other place in Lima for them to go either. Yeah. So. I joked with you when I saw some of the video, there's a meditation area and I'm like, oh, I need that here at work, right? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's got to be a big game changer. Oh, it think, is right? amazing out there. You walk out there and you can just feel God's presence. You, you can't be angry out there. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's the thing. I said, we need a meditation area here. There's no way you can be mad out well, there. Well, come on over. <laughs> yeah. Well, you showed me the rooms too and it's nice to have that space, but each one has to be in a sense furnished for for the group to come in so those are some of the kind of items you need yeah from, if we can get donations in that area yeah. right? so what we had is three of our rooms have been sponsored okay um by individuals that come in and they turn it from you know it was a sunday school classroom so they turn it into a welcoming spot for families to kind of come to yeah so if there are individuals out there or even businesses who want to sponsor a room is there still room left to do yep, that we have three more rooms left and um those are the bedroom bedrooms yeah. areas um i'd love to have somebody sponsor the the child's playroom too yeah yeah the other thing we showed some of the things that are needed out there in the shelves it's got nice areas for things to be stocked but you think about toothpaste and you think about toiletries yep. and body wash and all that kind of, is that something that's in constant need for you guys? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We, we provide all of that for them. So it's always a constant need. Yeah, I would think so. What's the easiest way for them? Just give you guys a holler and say, yep. Hey, we'd like to just give us a call at our number and, and we can work something out. How are we doing on volunteers? Good oh, in that area? Our volunteers are amazing. Yeah. We couldn't do what we're doing without the volunteers. Yeah. We could always use more, though. <laughs> I can imagine. You know, the other thing I thought of the church was obviously leasing this space to you. Has that been a good partnership there between you and the church? Yes. Yeah. Um, in fact, some of the members of the church is now on our board. Oh, nice. Yep. We formed yeah. a development committee, so we meet and... And we are open and communicate and just, you know, keep everything transparent and address any problems as they come up. Okay. If anyone wants to donate, they can give you guys a holler. Thank you so much, Holly. Oh, Appreciate my gosh. It. Thank you. Good seeing you. Now, going Medical News coming up next on Noon Edition.